Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video lecture, we will consider to solve the difference equation that is y of n, which has been given as 1 uh, y of n minus 1 by 9 y of n minus 2 equal to 2 times x of n minus 1 with the initial conditions been given as y of minus 1 equal to 1, y of minus 2 equal to 0. Input has been given as u of n. Find the a total overall response, natural response, force response, zero state response and zero state, uh, uh, zero input response and zero state response. So this uh, we will consider solving. Uh, first let me write the given equation that is uh, y of n. So let me write the given equation y of n minus 1 by 9 y of n minus 2 which is equal to 2 times x of n minus 1. So whatever it has been given call it as equation number 1 and later uh, just write down the initial conditions whatever it has been given I have got the initial condition y of uh, minus 1 is equal to 1 and y of uh, minus 2 been given as uh, 0 and the input is also been given which is x of n is equal to u of n so now what is the next task I would write uh, I would get the equation 1 and I will write, I will rearrange it and get the expression for y of n. y of n is equal to, take everything to RHS, it becomes 1 divided by 9 y of n minus 2 plus 2 times x of n minus 1. So this is how I get and this you call it as equation number 2. So we are going to get lot of equations, so better name them all the equations. Next is the response I can write y of n is equal to it is sum of the natural response y n of n plus y p of n y n of n represent the natural response y p of n represents the particular solution so now proceeding further I need to find the characteristic equation so let me write first the characteristic equation is the writing the characteristic equation becomes very much important for us so that I can find the roots the characteristic equation is so once I write it properly that is 1 minus 1 by 9 r square equal to uh, 0 I just r to the power minus 2 to be precise as it is there minus 2 it becomes 1 minus 1 by 9 r to the power minus 2 is equal to 0 so now uh, I need to write this in terms of proper quadratic equation. I would multiply with r square so that I would get r square minus 1 by 9 is equal to 0. So now can I find the values of r now? Yes, r is going to be plus or minus 1 by 3 because r square equal to 1 by 9. Take square over here, it becomes square root. r gets two values that is plus or minus uh, 3. Therefore, r. I would write it as r1 equal to 1 by 3 and the another root I would call it as r2 equal to minus 1 by 3. So I got two roots now. Is that okay? So what are the roots now? They are real and non-repeating. That is very important. The conclusion I would write roots are roots are uh, real and non-repeating. Just this makes statement roots are real and non repeating so as the roots are real and non repeating the natural response therefore yn of n can be written as c1 into r1 to the power n plus c2 into r2 to the power n something like this. So what is R1, R2? I got the value. Just substitute the values. C1, 1 by 3 to the power n plus C2, R2. What is R2? Minus 1 by 3 to the power n. And I would call this time as equation number 3. That is Yn of n, natural response. Now, I need to talk about the particular solution. What is x of n is equal to u of n, which is a constant. Since x of n is equal to u of n, the particular solution, the particular solution, so just write one sentence, the particular solution 
is of the form is of the form so just write down yp of n the particular solution yp of n is going to be k into u of n that depends on the x of n u of n as it is a constant term yp of n is equal to k into u of n so whatever i got call it as equation number 4 so now what we have to do is we'll substitute this substituting substituting equation 4 in equation 1 and solving for k that is very important and solving for k am i going to get the value for k if i substitute equation 4 in equation 1 the answer is yes the equation 1 is somewhere here so just substitute the value uh, yp of n is equal to k into u of n so i'm going to get k u of n is 1 minus 1 by 9 k u of n minus 1 i'm going to get it is also 1 which is equal to 2 correct what did i get now i get k minus 1 by 9 k equal to 2 uh, just solve it uh, take the lgm as a 9 and i'm going to get 9 minus 1 it is turns out to be 8 k divided by 9 is equal to 2 so what it turns out to be it turns out to be uh, here it is 2 ones are 2 fours are k therefore k is equal to 9 divided by 4 so this is very important the whatever the value we got k equal to 9 by 4 is very important so now i would write the total response y of n is equal to the natural response i got it as a c1 1 by 3 to the power n plus c2 minus 1 by 3 to the power n this is the natural response plus the particular solution or the force response is nothing but 9 by 4 so this i would call it as equation number 5 this is the expression for total response overall response the only thing is i i am not aware of c1 and c2 if i could find what are the values of c1 and c2 and substitute them back the task is done so how do I find the uh, values of C1 and C2? For this I will consider the given initial conditions. Let me write the initial conditions. So what are the initial conditions? It says y of minus 1 is equal to 1 and y of minus 2 is equal to 0. Is that right? Just go up and check. Yes, y of minus 1 equal to 1 and y of minus 2 equal to 0. So, these are our initial conditions. So, based on this, I would put this, put n equal to 0 in equation 2. Where is equation 2? The given uh, equation itself, but it is arranged in terms of y of n. Here, I would put n equal to 0. If I put n equal to 0, I would get y of 0 equal to 1 by 9 y of minus 2 plus 2 times x of minus 1 correct so right here y of 0 plus 1 by 9 y of minus 2 plus 2 times uh, no this is equal to right y of 0 equal to y of 0 equal to 1 by 9 y of uh, minus 2 plus 2 times x of minus 1. So now I know y of minus 2. What is y of minus 2? It is given as a 0. So here it becomes a 0 plus 2 times x of minus 1. x of n is u of n and u of minus 1 you are finding. Unit step exists only from 0 to infinity. u of minus 1 is also 0. Therefore finally y of 0 turns out to be 0 itself. Is that, uh, is that right? Now, the next task is, I need to find uh, the expression, uh, whatever I got, n equal to 0 in equation uh, 2. So, now what I do is, I would put n equal to 1 in equation 5. So, this is the equation 5. If I put n equal to 1, I would get the expression in terms of c1 and c2. 
first expression correct let me check what i am going to get now uh, put not n equal to 1 it is it must also be n equal to 0 so first i'll consider uh, putting n equal to 0 in equation 2 and 5 later again i will put n equal to 1 in equation 2 and 5 i'll get two more equations so now if i put n equal to 0 i am going to get uh, y of 0 is equal to uh, c1 anything uh, 1 by 3 to the power 0 is 1 so i'm going to get c1 plus c2 plus 9 divided by 4 Correct and the y of 0 I just now got it is 0 therefore uh, Finally what I get is therefore c1 Plus c2 is equal to I'm going to get minus 9 by 4 call this as equation number 6 very important So now I said uh, put n equal to 1 put n equal to 1 in equation 2 again, so I'm going to get this time y of 1 is equal to 1 divided by 9 y of what I am going to get it is uh, equation 2 is here n minus 2 uh, if I put n equal to 1 I am going to get minus 1 I would get y of minus 1 plus 2 times x of n minus 1 if I put n equal to 0 I am going to get x of uh, 0 so what is the value of this I need to find y of n equal to 1 by 9 y of minus 1 is the initial condition and it's been given as 1 it is 1 by 9 plus 2 times x of 0 x of 0 is nothing but u of 0 unit step signal at 0th uh, position is 1 so I would get uh, 1 itself so 2 into 1 it is uh, uh, 2 only so now take the LCM and simplify this I'm going to get that is 18 plus 1 19 divided by 9 as y of 1. So now uh, put n equal to 1 in equation 5. So that will get another expression in terms of c1 and c2. I would get y of 1 is equal to c1 into 1 by 3 plus c2 into minus 1 by 3 plus 9 by 4 just simplify this further what is y of 1 y of 1 i got it as uh, 19 divided by 9 which is equal to 1 by 3 c1 minus 1 by 3 c2 plus 9 by 4 therefore i can write this as 1 by 3 c1 minus uh, 1 by 3 c2 equal to I'm going to get a 19 by 9 minus 9 by 4. Is that correct? So just take the LCM of uh, 36. 36 here and uh, 9 4s are 36. 19 4s uh, it turns out to be uh, 76. 4 9s are 81. 76 minus 81 turns out to be minus 5. So this is uh, 1 by 3 c1 minus 1 by 3 c2 so now multiply the entire expression by 3 so that i would get c1 minus c2 is equal to uh, 3 1s are 3 12s are 36 so i'm going to get minus 5 divided by 12. this is very important equation that is i call it as equation number uh, 7 Correct. So here I have got two equations, so C1 uh, in equation number 6 and equation number 7. Both are there in terms of C1 and C2. If I add up, C2 will cancel. I get the value for C1 straight away. So adding equation 6 and 7. So let me write adding equation 6 and 7. We get C1 plus C2 turns out to be 2 times C1. C2 and C2 would cancel and minus 9 by 4 minus 5 by uh, 12 is that correct equal to minus 9 by 4 minus 5 divided by 12 so just take the LCM and solve it further I'm going to get 12 is the LCM 4 uh, 3 is uh, 12 that is 9 3 is 27 minus 27 here minus 5 LCM is 12 so it turns out to be minus 32 divided by 12 2 c1 so now it is 4 3 is a 4 8 is a 
32. Now 2 ones are 2 4 are. Therefore finally C1 is equal to minus 4 divided by 3. Just be careful. C1 is equal to minus 4 by 3. Once I get that, I can find the values of C2 very easily, making use of substituting uh, for C2 in equation 6. Put C2, put C2 in equation 6. Therefore, C1 is equal to minus 9 by 4, minus 9 by 4, and this is plus uh, 4 divided by 3. So again take the LCM which is 12, here I would get 4 3s minus 27 plus 3 4s, 4 4s are 16. So I am going to get minus 27 plus 16, it turns out to be minus 11 divided by 12. So finally I would get C, is this C1 or C2? I wanted uh, C2 here, it must be C2, correct? So the equation of 6 is here, C1 plus C2 equal to, I want C2, C2 equal to minus 9 by 4 minus C1, correct. C2 equal to minus 9 by 4 minus C1, it becomes plus 4 by 3, yes it's correct. So C2 is equal to minus 11 divided by 12, so whatever I got the values, I'll substitute these in equation Phi so that I would get the natural uh, the complete response or the overall response y of n is equal to. So ultimately it turns out to be therefore therefore y of n is equal to c1. C1 is minus 4 by 3 into 1 by 3 to the power n plus C2, C2 is minus 11 by 12 into minus 1 by 3 to the power n plus 9 divided by 4. So this is the final expression for the total response. So I would call this as overall, overall response or I can also call it as the total response or the complete response all mean the same total uh, response uh, y of n is equal to just be careful this is the final expression yes i think it's a pretty long numerical uh, based on mainly on the mathematics i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i would definitely address those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on signals and systems till then thank you everyone for watching